Monday morning and aviation staff armed with placards held demonstrations at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to register their frustrations over the proposed Adani takeover. <laughs> with the Indian farm set to take over operations of the iconic facility starting November this year, the union wants the deal to be put on hold until their grievances are addressed. The team that has been selected from KA, even from the government, to cease to go to India until we have the docu full documents and information. Also, there's a Adani group, which is ongoing here at the airport. They cease to do any inventory, which they are doing right now. The staff also want all documents in the deal to be made public. We read the documents within the seven days so that we make a documented uh, reservations into it and some demands to the government. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Led by their chairperson, the workers have decried their welfare once the Indian farm takes over and made talks over looming layoff once the deal is sealed. As the union, we have decided that uh, there is no way we can allow some things to continue when we are talking. When we hear the authority is sponsoring people to, to India for due diligence, and yet we are here not ready uh, to, 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 to talk to us, it, it gives us no sense. We told the managing director by today, for, before close of the business, that if there is no response from them, a positive response, and if they cannot adhere to our demands, then our industrial action will commence without any further reference. Uh, next month. President William Root, during a town hall meeting in Mombasa County last month, rubbished any claims of selling the iconic facility. The head of state, however, insisted that there is need to work with investors to ensure the airport is modernized. Ian Kaitani, K24 TV, Nairobi.